Hey everyone, I'm Shane from Optimal Dwelling Spaces and I wanted to share a little bit about the work I do as a building biologist with you. I cover the Pacific Northwest and I work with clients in their homes, offices, and other areas where they spend a great deal of time to reduce their exposures to EMFs or electromagnetic fields. And although we typically wouldn't want to see our electrical panel in a bedroom or an office, anywhere we spend a lot of time indoors, for the purposes of this demonstration, it works out pretty well. So although there are a number of different types of EMFs, right now we're gonna focus on ELF, or extremely low frequency EMFs. Those typically come from the power grid and the wires and power flowing through our homes. So what I wanna do is just ask you to put on your imagination cap for a second. I'm going to turn on my NFA 1000 and it's going to give us an auditory idea of the electrical impulses in this room. And while you're imagining, let's just pretend that someone's bed is right here in this room and, the, and they're sleeping. So the meter is giving us that auditory representation of the energy and the pulses, and you can hear they're quite robust in this space. So you can sort of extrapolate and imagine if you were trying to sleep, um, what that might do and how it might impact your body throughout the night. And this type of energy, this type of EMF, has been shown to be biologically active and detrimental. So I spend a lot of time at the panel in a client's home to identify which circuits feed which areas of the home. And when we can control that and turn those off during sleeping times, we're able to produce a very low EMF, similar to if you were camping out in the wilderness uh, experience. So unfortunately, it's not always labeled very well, and there gets to be some complications with different circuits, canceling out other circuits. So. You really have to have a bit of experience and some really high-end gear to do this properly. I've already done the homework in this house, and so I, I just wanted to give you that quick visual and auditory idea of what's going on. But the circuits affecting this room are right here, and you'll hear the distinct change when I turn them off. So you can just imagine the sleeping experience now versus before. And when I work with clients in this way and help them create basically a sleep sanctuary, there's very positive feedback and reports from them on improved quality of sleep. And of course, sleep is tied to regeneration and many important internal housekeeping processes for our body to stay healthy. So uh, thank you for tuning in. And if you have questions about your home and your environment, I'd love to chat, so give us a look on the internet and uh, reach out as soon as you are able.